Hello and welcome everybody, Nicholas from Bicycle here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up your Wahoo Kicker and get you ready for indoor training. Before we get started, let's just quickly have a look at what you should have when you unbox your Wahoo Kicker. You should have the kicker itself with the default 11 speed cassette, the quick release skewer, quick release adapters, a power adapter, a 1.8 millimeter spacer, through axle adapters, a disc brake spacer and different sized top caps. Make sure your kicker is on a stable surface. Press down on the blue tabs and pull the legs outwards until the tabs click back up. Then connect the power adapter to your kicker. The plug can be found on the back. The kicker comes installed with the medium sized top caps. Depending on your weight, you will have to change them accordingly. If you weigh below 63 kilograms, use the small top cap. If you weigh between 63 and 81, keep on the medium size. Over 81 kilograms, then you need to install the largest cap. If your kicker is somewhat unstable, loosen the blue lock nut and adjust the feet until the kicker is stabilized. Then, Tighten the lock nut against the frame leg. Now you need to adjust the kicker to match your wheel size. If you are not sure what your wheel size is, then look on the side of your tire wall. However, majority of the road bikes use 700C. By default, the kicker comes installed with the quick release system set to 130mm hub width. If you are using a mountain bike or a bike with 135 you need to swap around the adapter so that 135mm is showing. If your bike has a through axle, then unscrew the quick release and remove the adapters. Then get out the adapters for the through axle. Insert the smaller piece on the side of the cassette with the rough side facing outward and the larger adapter on the other side. Once again, depending on hub width, you will need to use the correct side, either 142 or 148 millimeter. Most road bikes will use 142 millimeter. Gear down to the smallest cog on your cassette. Remove the wheel and insert the disc spacer if you are using disc brakes. Then place the chain on the smallest cog on the kicker's cassette and press down until the dropouts sit properly on the kicker's axle. Tighten the quick release or through axle and there you go. Quick side note, if your bike comes with a 10 speed cassette, you will need to remove the default 11 speed from the kicker insert the 1.8 millimeter spacer and then put on your 10 speed cassette thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any further questions regarding the wahoo kicker please feel free to leave a comment down below if you are looking for your next dream bike please visit us on bicycle.com don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time 